Man, modesty is a thing of the past in this daytime and hour. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I'm out running some uh, some errands. Had to go by Lowe's and uh, pick up some light bulbs and things like that. Had to run by Walmart. And man, it is just uh, an eyesore to see these immodest women uh, out here showing it all showing everything they got and it's not a it's not a matter of uh, them not having clothes on it's just them choosing to uh, wear the most skimpiest most revealing clothes there are you know I'm out and about the day and I see butt cheeks hanging out belly hanging out and I'm like you know these women strut their stuff around like it's a you know, something something to be proud of, but that's a sign, man, we're in the last days because, you know, 50 years ago, uh, women were modest, you know, were more modest as far as uh, it would have been, it would have been uh, revealing back then if you had all your legs showing, if you had your shoulders out. Now it's like, uh, I'ma show my breast, I'ma show my butt cheeks, you know, I'ma show my belly, the little, a lot of these women be putting these belly button rings on and you be like, what in the world? You wanna, you wanna showcase this little belly? It, 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 it is something sick in these women today. And, you know, I watch, man, as women simply uh, sit back and compliment this. I like your shirt, that's a nice little crop top. Why this woman uh, sitting here letting her belly hang out you know, and, and, and it always goes hand in hand. You're gonna see these women doing it. You're gonna see uh, black women, Mexican, all these women are doing this stuff. And it is, like I said, it is nasty. It is an eyesore, you know, and uh, certain things go hand in hand with it. You're gonna see these uh, half inch long eyelashes. You're gonna see uh, a, a Caucasian woman with brown blonde hair wearing black eyelash looking crazy. And the word says, man, the whoredoms of a woman may be known through her eyelids. I'm telling you, man, if you got daughters out here, the best thing you can do is clothe them modestly. Keep them pure. And these women wonder why uh, they're often body counts is high and why they got to play the victim because you've been out here moving, uh, letting every Tom, Dick, and Harry, you know, take a gander at you. And that leads to, like I said, so much fornication. The kind of men, like, I can look at a woman and she's got that crap on her face. She's got her belly hanging out, belly button pierced, uh, no bra on, nipple ring showing, butt cheeks hanging out. Man, that is the last woman on the earth that I want to touch. That I even want to be around me because I know the spirit that's on you. You got a, a, a sexually uh, provocative spirit that's far from righteousness. You know, and there are clothes out there that fit women. It's just, they don't want them. You know, they want to be the, uh, everybody want to be a bad bitch, but you're going you're gonna to find out uh, at judgment day, if you don't correct yourself, hey, you're going to be bad, all right? You're going to be down real bad. When the Most High Yah is going to let you know, regardless of how much you think you love him and how great your relationship is, he ain't letting you in the kingdom looking like that to try to uh, lead the saints astray like Jezebel did. Get in there and have everybody focused on doggone. You would taint the doggone kingdom coming up in there like that. It's a damn shame, man. A bunch of eyesores out here. These women, them women call themselves fine. Girl, you look good. Girl, I like them shorts. Where you get them from? I got to get me some. Bunch of damn Jezebels. Most of the y'all ministries kicking that thing gun barrel straight. Bow.